right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Cain Velasquez and Junior Dos Santos. So here we go with the big boys, your teammate Cain Velasquez taking on Junior. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Trying to stay in this fight! <laughs> Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Got the tie clinch. Stuff the takedown, no problem. He's grabbing the back. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. We'll get him. Came of inches right there, bro. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just over three minutes to go now. Big punch, man. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. He's having his way with him here. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Well, he's got his back now. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Side control now. Horn sounds for the end of round one. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Right punches there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Whoa. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And maybe so have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 38 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by Knockout King. The last man. All right, so there
there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Ready. You ready to fight? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a ground weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. All right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so then. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does in this position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Lands with a right hand. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know. And that's gonna do it! Herb Dean steps in! Unbelievable! Woo! Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. And here we go inside the Ladies octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official Bruce decision. Bruce stop this contest at 1 minute, 27 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brock Lesnar! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. It's a heavyweight showdown between Daniel Cormier and Stefan Struve. You ready? Let's go, guys. All right, so here we go, round one. I can do it. here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Cormier's got the full mount. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Cormier's right back to the full mount. 
just over three minutes to go in our first round. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Cormier. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, now the he's godfather try to attack would be proud. Here. It's in there deep. There you go. it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 13 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar, Daniel D.C. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Here. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. It's a heavyweight collision between Tyson Fury and Andre Bishop. two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. The there are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, yeah, right here. Big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back in range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Bishop. And there comes the separation now. and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you it. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, that right hand is on point. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Tries to mix in a takedown here. gets caught with that punch, he'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He got it. Oh, 
Oh, nice right it's a nice one, too. That's a big hook. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Just out of range with that left hook. Takedown defense holds up. Oh! Oh, oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. I want that takedown now. Jab hurt him a little bit. Oh, straight right. Oh. Oh, and a nice. Oh. Round two coming up next. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Get oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Bishop. Oh, and he gives up his back here, DC. I know you've never had your back taken in the UFC. You've never been submitted. Uh, but this is not a good spot for the defensive fight. It's not a very good spot for him. But the guy on bottom needs to stay patient. Whoa! and a great performance by this young man. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, one second of the second round, declaring the winner by knockout, Andre. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. Here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. other's radars for quite some time tonight it shall be done both guys well rounded you think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what you just don't know right you don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to this is a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen them put on these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other Whoa! oh he's hurt bad he's hurt bad john he's got to press him he's got to go chase that finish down now Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, straight right. You can't break your will. 
punch over the top. He missed with that jab attempt. There's no give on that leg kick. Liam mixes it up. Unbelievable elbow land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just out of range with that right hand. Blocks the shot. Nice straight punch. And they separate. Flush right hand is true. Slice's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Slips the left hand. Visibly limping here. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Slice. Big punch land. Beautiful leg kick. Oh. Checks that leg kick. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just retaining scraps so far. Okay, All right, round two. Nice punch, man. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. You got him! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest at 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bronson. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Anthony Johnson and Ben Rothwell. is underway we will see how it plays out it's a pick em fight according to las vegas and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their ufc careers thus far i feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain they're the best of the best that we oh! Just misses there with the left. Nice punch land over the top. Ooh. Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Oh! 
huge right hand. Nice hook. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Ooh, what a punch. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Johnson. A big right hand lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, a huge block there. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Rothwell's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. History. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony! No shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. For yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times he hoped for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats. It's a heavyweight clash between the Pitbull Andre Arlovsky and Alexander Gustafson. You ready? So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most. Oh! Back to the feet. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big elbow there, Lance. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Orlovsky. doing a ton, just looking to recover. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. 
All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, do a posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. So just over 20 total strikes have now connected for the heavyweight Andre Arlovsky. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, he's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Huge elbow there. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eagle Beans called a stop for this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Andre the Pitbull Olowski. And there is the man of the moment and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he's got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight. Heavyweight collision between Isaac Frost and AJ Anthony Joshua. Ready. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury! It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right! And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Just out of range with that left hook. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic... Play. so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. 
finally he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of the very first round. Declare the winner by knockout, Iceman. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. or a mixed martial artist, you want to compete. Oh! All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kick to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start thinking about striking. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Able to land the single ground strike there. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the... Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up, get to your knees, close your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. He should try to get to a half guard at least, at minimum. Try to go to half guard. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, 
stuffs the takedown without issue. Good work blocking the knee. Huge kick to the leg. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Solid strike on the ground. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That That'll do it! Oh, and there comes the stoppage! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness, what a fight! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. decision it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight matchup between Daniel Cormier and Andre Bishop. just looking to recover. Ooh, big shot land. Awesome, nice boxing chops there from Daniel Cormier. We talk so much about the wrestling. Don't sleep on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the wrestling that allows these guys, especially a guy like DC, who's shorter, to manage distance, manage space in the striking room. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. to the head, blocked though by Bishop. Throws the right hand there. Big hook. Oh, straight right. Down. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt. Cormier getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. I mean, how many can he take? 
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Cormier's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Transitioning to the arm submission now. just be a matter of time. of this young fighter. You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Daniel DC Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Ready. Ready to fight. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the film. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Oh! oh he finishes fight. Back to the feet. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Straight right hand, no good. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. He's got him right here. now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. A lot of top 
pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 57 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Rumble Johnson. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And Gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations. It is a heavyweight collision between the Pitbull Andre Arlovsky and Isaac Frost. You ready? UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a good one. Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? Wow! Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. to his feet. A oh, little single collar tie there. The pit bull gets caught with that punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. That was a thudding leg kick. to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Arlovsky. Oh! Oh, it's over. oh my goodness! Wow! Wow! <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has
has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 35 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Iceman. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. other's radars for quite some time tonight it shall be done both guys well-rounded you think we have a kickboxing match tonight or you just don't know right you don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to this is a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen the hip toss as he takes him down now we'll see what he can do with it right into side control strong bottom work here staying busy Sound strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. Tonight, he told us he wanted to be efficient. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt his opponent knew the takedown attempts would be coming, and he got the fight to the ground relatively easily, and his submission skills then took over. Big, big result for him early in round one tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it, that he made him pay for tonight and got the submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at one minute, 51 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Daniel well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result. All right, coming up next, a heavyweight collision between Anthony Johnson and Isaac Ice Cold Frost. came down the UFC came strong and we've been omnipresent ever since John we kicked the door in yes. if you're gonna open if you're gonna say you're welcome in MSG the UFC is coming and every time we have gone there we have brought phenomenal Whoa! 
Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Nice little shot, Reigns. Back and forth we go. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick. Man. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. We're going at it now. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Johnson. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Powerful leg kick lands. Just missed with the left there. Well, missed on that one. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got him up very bad. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Frost gets caught with that punch. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Wow! Serve him up. Go get him. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Final seconds of round one. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. All right, second round underway. Cross the strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, three seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Iceman. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. Coming up next, it is a heavyweight title fight between Daniel Cormier and Isaac Frost.
match and the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. Oh! Certain the finish could come at any time. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. He's throwing hard in the pocket. Let's get some offense. Let's get All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jab. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! Huge right hand! That one was going to... It's over now! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yes, sir. It goes into the books as a first-round win by knockout. Near-perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And, again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him pulled before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. All right, the official decision is in. Here once more, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Evil Beings called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 26 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iceman. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star and a massive draw for the UFC.